the bird doing his thing in the Smallwood Hall parking lot. The USO and the Orioles teamed up for a drive and go event on Armed Forces Day. More on that in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, important news from transportation for PCS season, some transition assistance news, and a message from TRICARE. These stories and more, but first it was an information-packed hour at this week's Installation Town Hall. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland covered subjects from mask policy to reopening the gyms and the bowling center to traffic and infrastructure issues. However, before the Town Hall, most questions concerned the pools. We took the community pools through the Recovery Review Board, like I've talked to you about previously, and then we took it to Major General Jones for a decision, and he approved our plan and our mitigation measures to prevent community spread. Um, and so we will be reopening the pool, the community pools, uh, starting on May 29th at 11 a.m. I say again, the community pools will open May 29th at 11 a.m. There's gonna be some rules, there's gonna be some mitigation measures. It's not gonna be exactly like it was pre-COVID. Uh, there's some capacity limits that are, that are in place. You can watch the Town Hall in its entirety on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. In other news, this week's temperatures remind us that summer is upon us, and for many that means a permanent change of station. The Transportation Office has been offering virtual services through the pandemic. This year they're encouraging clients to continue the virtual processing since most documents must be uploaded to the Internet anyway, but face-to-face -face counseling is available. The big change for this PCS season took effect May 15th. It's called Household Goods Spread Days. This year we have a new process. It's called Spread Days. So when the customers pick up, they uh, select their pickup day in the Move.Mail system, they have to add six additional days. So what that six days does is it gives the carrier six days to uh, book their shipment within that six day window. So that's one of the key points that we're trying to stress. So basically once you receive a pack out day, you'll have to add an additional six days after that. This creates a window for the movers. It's a big change, but Ms. Sapp says that's why the transportation briefings are so important. We encourage them to attend our briefings because we're starting to see a lot of customers that are like in a panic mode because they didn't understand or they didn't know about the spread days and typically when they don't know about it that's kind of key to let us know that they haven't attended one of our briefings. We'll have more on PCS season on our next broadcast. Meanwhile Fort Meade and the Baltimore Orioles have partnered up for some great events over the years including an annual spring baseball clinic but because of the pandemic staging in clinics hasn't been possible. This year on Armed Forces Day, May 15th, the Fort Meade USO and the Orioles put on a contactless drive and go event at the Smallwood Hall parking lot. The Orioles organization actually reached out to our Fort Meade PAO office um, and we have some experience doing this before so Fort Meade PAO reached out to us, uh, brought us all into the same conversation and we were able to create this wonderful uh, drive and go event today for our uh, service members and their families. Time now to take our regularly scheduled look at the Transition Assistance Program. On June 4th, they're offering a federal hiring process webinar. There's a Transition Assistance Workshop on June 7th through the 11th. Note here, you must complete a TAP Initial Counseling and Self-Assessment. The following week, there's an Executive Transition Assistance Workshop for grades 05 and E8 and above. Learn how to start a business franchise on June 21st. Marking yourself for a second career is on June 23rd. Also on the 23rd, Strategic Money Matters. All of these workshops are virtual. Call or email the TAP Center to register or for more information. In other news, although the COVID transmission rates are trending in the right direction, a significant percentage of the population is delaying getting vaccinated. In this video, TRICARE tries to answer some questions people might still have. We understand why you may elect to wait before getting vaccinated. But before you make a decision, consider this. First, you cannot get COVID-19 from the COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccine may cause some flu-like symptoms, which are normal and a sign that your body is building protection against the virus. Second, researchers have been studying and working with mRNA vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna for decades. This is not a new or unknown technology. Incredible scientific ingenuity and a whole of government approach combined with private industry resulted in a vaccine that is safe and highly effective. Healthcare experts agree, the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccine far outweigh the serious risk of getting sick with this virus. So go to tricare.mil slash COVID vaccine, and together, let's do our part to get back to normal. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.